Sydney has prepared for dangerous flash flooding as other Australian East Coast cities began a cleanup operation following record floods which caused 14 dead in recent days. According to Australia's Bureau of Meteorology, there were severe weather warnings for heavy rainfalls which could cause flash and riverine flooding and damaging winds that could bring down trees. Dean Naramore, a meteorologist from the Bureau, says Wednesday, as the rain continues to fall, the situation will continue to escalate as well. Residents in the New South Wales town of Lismore began the cleanup. For death, four deaths have been confirmed in Lismore as of Wednesday, with the addition of a 70-year-old man found by rescuers in a flooded apartment. The waters of Wilson's River, which runs through the city, peaked to their highest level on Monday afternoon since records began in 19, I should say in 1880. Authorities expected the death toll in Lismore and its surrounding cities to rise. The cleanup effort in Brisbane was underway with about 8,000 volunteers enlisted to help those who were inundated. A British woman accused of being part of a gang who laundered one billion UK pounds in a VAT fraud has been arrested in Spain. Sarah Panitsky was walking her dogs when agents of the Spanish Civil Guard and a UK customs official approached her. The arrest took place in Tarragona on Sunday. Panitsky is accused of laundering money via a network of companies in Dubai, Spain and Andorra. The criminal gang made their money by selling mobile phones abroad without VAT and reselling it in the UK. Vanitsky had been on the run since May 2013. She has been taken to Madrid where she will face an extradition hearing.